Peter Rawlinson is an admirable, visionary leader in the EV manufacturing world. His success in leadership and organization sets the perfect example for every aspiring leader in the corporate world. His work has proven to impact us directly and indirectly in our daily lives, and he has continued to transform the EV industry with his wonderful work. Currently, he is Chief Executive Officer and Chief Technological Officer at Lucid Motors. We principally recognize him for the engineering of the outstanding Tesla Model S and the all-new Lucid Air sedan. Today, we take a deep dive into the life of Mr. Peter Rawlinson. Hello and welcome back again to New Vehicle Media. If you haven't subscribed already, here's a kind reminder to do so. It's free and reversible at any given moment. While you're at it, hit the bell icon so we can always update you on our latest uploads. Comments and likes are, of course, highly welcome too. This video has timestamps and you can skip whenever to get to the part that you prefer. Rawlinson Earlier Years Peter Rawlinson was born and brought up in South Wales in the United Kingdom. He attended a local school in the UK for his initial education and then proceeded on to attend Imperial College in London to study engineering. Eventually, his career as an engineer kicked on well and he joined a couple of UK companies in the automotive industries. This included working with Jaguar cars and in 1994, he joined Lotus, a British automotive company headquartered in Norfolk, England. During his tenure, Rawlinson worked as the chief engineer of the now successful organization. He later joined Chorus Automotive in the UK in 1998 as the head of vehicle engineering and served up to the year 2007. Peter Rawlinson at Tesla Motors Tesla is an American electric vehicle and clean energy company that specializes in making electric automobiles. When Rawlinson joined this company, he eventually gained the responsibility as the chief engineer and this followed engineering of the Tesla Model S. This is one of the most successful projects by Tesla and more so enabled by Peter Rawlinson under the founder Elon Musk. The Model S is an all-electric five-door liftback sedan and was introduced back in August 2012. The car has an EPA range of 402 miles or 647 kilometers. The car has the highest EPA range than any other electric car. This car possesses wonderful performance since the model has an autopilot ability and an advanced driver assistance system that allows the car to operate without a driver. In 2013, the Model S became the first car to top monthly new car sales rankings in any country twice in Norway and in Denmark in December 2015. In 2018 alone, the car sold over 250,000 units. In addition, the Model S was the top-selling plug-in electric car worldwide for two consecutive years in 2015 and 2016. Joining Lucid Motors A few months before Lucid released their first Lucid Air model, Peter Rawlinson left Tesla for Lucid. This must be one of the greatest turnarounds for Rawlinson. He joined as the chief technological officer and eventually reached on to steer the company as the chief executive officer. Lucid's success has exploded in the recent following, the follow-up of the financial deals gained from different investments. Peter Rawlinson and his administration have been keen to grasp every opportunity that promises the company a great future, and analysts are already comparing the company to be a perennial competitor to Tesla. Great financial deals under Peter's leadership may include Lucid's merger with CCIV that will see the company pump in more finances. This move by the two companies has enabled people to buy and sell Lucid shares through CCIV and both minor and major investors are flocking in to see that Rawlinson's work appreciates as his milestones suggest. The company is also under a financing deal from the Public Investment Fund in Saudi Arabia and in 2018, they received a lump sum of over 1 billion US dollars. For eight years, Peter worked with Lucid as the chief technology officer, and it's also in his tenure that he saw the company venture into a successful manufacturer of battery cells for the Formula E Season 5. Rawlinson is a genius at his job, and he is good at what he does, which is one of the main reasons why Lucid's success and boom is coming to revelation. After joining Lucid Motors in 2013, Rawlinson has worked with other outstanding personalities such as Derek Jenkins. The pair coupled with the other officials in the organization masterminded the Lucid Air, 
and we expect the project to exceed our expectations in unit productions and sales. This is achievable with Peter Rawlinson on the front line. He has achieved it before with the Tesla Model S and other brands. The Lucid Motors boss Peter Rawlinson is clearly enthusiastic about the new breed of electric car maker. His passion is clearly on saving the planet and he insists that he wants to do it as fast as possible. Climate change is a looming disaster in the current world and Lucid is keen on producing new generational vehicles and clearly, it's masterminded by the CEO. Mr. Rawlinson's Focus When Mr. Rawlinson joined Ativia earlier, he felt that he wanted to create not just any car, but a car that stood out among all other luxurious EVs. The goal for this was not to beat Tesla, but to provide a car that is magnificent in every way and serve every driver sensibly. In the midst of this earlier contraction by Ativia, Peter Rawlinson also came up with the idea to rename the company. As we know, there's power in a name, and so he and the administrational structure renamed the company to Lucid. Ever since Rawlinson joined Lucid, he has continued to produce excellent results and the credibility of the manufacturer has also grown exponentially. Rawlinson is arguably Britain's most influential car maker, and his team at Lucid is just the perfect combination to make a great company. According to his personal note on Lucid's website, he states that the team intends to build up to 20 studios by the end of the year and clients should expect faster strides towards Project Gravity. Today, Lucid is on the top of finishing up a deal with Electrify America for all nationwide charging. Rawlinson is clearly the perfect leader to run Lucid Motors in that he has the perfect knowledge on how to engineer future and current models that give a solid statement to the company. We know him for also making his own car model in the earlier years of his career. Events He is also a social leader in that he has taken part in three key events. The 2017 Automobility LA is one of the events specifically. The event was held on November 27, 2017, and he was attending as a guest speaker. It was also held in Los Angeles, California. Earlier, on May 15, 2017, he had also attended another event in Santa Clara, California as the principal speaker for the event. He is also known to attend TechCrunch Disrupt events, usually held in New York. His passion for electric vehicle engineering dynamics is what pulls the attention of all his listeners and followers. Other events he has attended may, however, not likely to be all documented, but they are numerous. The Wrap-Up Rawlinson is also known for taking some of his interviews in the lucid air, and he is always so keen to mention that he prefers the best quality in his delivery, frequently testing for the integrity of the systems and improving on automotive software. In a recent interview with Bloomberg, he states that in his hands, the company's pre-production process is stable but some suppliers are falling behind schedule. Rawlinson also added that his supply chain managers recognized the shortage of chips earlier after the global chip crisis hit the entire world. His production line will instead target lower volumes of production this year and increase its output for next year. That means that the company has less buying power than other luxurious car companies and more so as a key competitor to Tesla. He doesn't see much improvement since the pandemic hit, but he intends to steer the company in the direction that, by the end of the second quarter, Lucid will release an official date for commencement of Lucid Air sales. The question here is, is the global chip shortage crisis the main reason for the lag in production operations for Lucid? In the community tab on our channel, we recently placed a poll to check Peter's popularity. Most of our viewers are clearly fans of him. Do you think that Lucid is doing okay under Rawlinson's initiatives and guidance, or should we expect another figurehead to steer the organization better? Let us know in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to our channel to not miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.